What is up, Priest Planet? It is a tarot priest back with another pick a card reading. In today's pick a card reading, what I'm gonna be looking at is what do they secretly want to tell you or what do they secretly want you to know? If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell as I will be uploading at least two videos per week, including zodiac signs for the month. If you guys are interested in booking a session with me or doing a life coach session or even taking my online tarot class that I will be coming out with, you can find all that in the description box below along with any other information that you may be seeking. All right, so let's move on to what do they secretly want to tell you or what do they secretly want you to know. We have four different decks here surrounded by charms that were selected out for each different stone. We have deck number one, deck number two, deck number three, and deck number four so let's hop into this reading all right if you guys chose deck number one this is your reading and what do they secretly want you to know or what do they secretly want to tell you all right let's see all right so we have the growth card the flow and courage So right off the bat, I feel like this person has commitment issues. I feel like what they are what they secretly want you to know is that they don't want to be in a committed relationship. They kind of just want to go with the flow. I also feel like you may be struggling because you feel that there's a strong connection between the both of you, which is why the growth card is here, seeking out a mentor or guide. But I feel like they have uh, commitment issues because of their own struggles, and I actually feel like they need to seek out counseling. They have commitment issues. They're not ready to commit. They want to go with the flow. Right off the bat here. Let's see what's going on. So the Eight of Wands, you guys could be in communication. But I also feel like this was in the room. Oops. Yeah, let's do all of them. All right. All right, so this, this person does want commitment. However, they're not moving forward in telling you this. Or they may have told you that they want a commitment, but they're not ready for commitment. They do want something with you, though. They do want a relationship. Uh, when I was shuffling this tarot deck, I kept seeing the Ace of Cups coming out. So I do feel like they do want a relationship, but they don't. It's almost like they're on and off. They don't know what they want. They're they're having a, a problem committing, and I feel like it's due to some issues that they're dealing with. If they have yet to tell you that they want a commitment with you, I feel like they will, but... The problem is, is I don't know how long this is going to last. You could have children with this person with the Emperor card here or be dealing with an Aries or be an Aries. You don't have to be. They're in contemplation mode right now with the Four of Cups trying to figure out what exactly do they want. They also could be struggling with some things that have happened in the past, whether that be with you or another relationship I'm getting. But for the most part, they want you to know or they secretly want you to know that they do want something with you. They're just not ready to settle down. They could have already told you that, but if you feel if they're on and off or they're flaky about their communication, it's because they're not ready to settle down in a relationship. They're still contemplating and dwelling on the things that have happened in the past, whether that be with you or with another person. Also, we have the King of Wands. So they do feel passionate about you. They do like you. I also feel like they feel like you guys can have something long term. So they've already visioned your guys' life out together. It's honestly an inner struggle that I feel that this person is dealing with. They could be a free spirited person just based on the charms that are here. They could be a very creative person, free spirited, wanting to go with the flow. We have a leaf here too. So that's also going with the flow, not really being on, like they're not very stable in commitments or relationships or friendships. And I feel like they secretly want to be with you in a relationship. Yeah, with the Empress card here. So yeah, I'll take some time out to just look at these. With the Emperor card here and the Empress here, this is a mother and a father. So you guys could have children with this person or uh, they could have children. You could have children. You guys came together and had a family. Whoever this is, they want, how do I explain this? They see you as a future person to settle down with. They feel like you could be that person. However, they're not ready to settle down. Instead, they kind of want to just go with the flow. Um, it is partially due to their fears, partially due to their boundaries that they have blocking themselves because of things that have happened in the past. But mainly, it's because they don't want to settle down right now. It's almost like 
they want to have their cake and eat it too, but they just don't want to make the wrong decision in settling down with the commitment right now. But they do see that you're a very beautiful person, very confident, very handsome, depending on whatever gender you might be. Very handsome, alluring. They see you as a great mother or father figure if that's here as well, if you guys are uh, parents. They also are very passionate about you, the energy. Um, it could be very intimately. So if you guys are sexually involved with this person, but they're not committing, they will not commit. I, maybe that's another thing that they secretly don't want you to know because maybe you'll, they're, they're afraid that you may leave, but they're not going to commit anytime soon. But in the future, they do see themselves committing with you, having a family, raising some someone, uh, children together, but also just having a relationship. When I was shuffling through this tarot deck, I kept seeing the Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups, and I'm like, you know, what? I'm just going to take it because I feel like they genuinely want this relationship, but they're just not ready to settle down right now. Uh, so they do secretly want you to know they're very attracted to you sexually, physically, and also your personality, but the confidence that you have, they're very attracted to that. They also feel like you can be very nurturing, but their communication is lagging. They're off and on with communicating. They are not ready to settle down. Um, but they're very passionate about you. All right, let's see what we have here. Eight of Wands in reverse. I'm just gonna turn it in the upright for the sake of this video. Now, the Eight of Wands, again, is underneath the Eight of Wands. If you guys are in communication with this person, they or no communication with this person, they will come forward and tell you this, or they will come forward and communicate in general. With the Eight of Wands here, I do feel like and the Knight of Pentacles, they're taking their time. They wanna take their time with the situation and they wanna go with the flow because they're not ready to commit. They don't really wanna commit. They still wanna be sexually active. I do feel like this is an intimate connection. If you guys chose this deck, you guys are thinking more along the lines of being in a relationship with this person. If this is someone new, it's the same thing. I definitely feel like, like it's the same thing take it how it resonates but whoever this is they're going to be very slow to commit we have the knight of pentacles the knight of pentacles is the slowest moving card in the deck they take forever but when they do come forth they do work diligently to make sure that it that it is what you're getting what you're you're asking for and then we have the knight of swords so we have two knights so they are going to take action and if you're wondering if this person is going to commit in the future they will commit right now I don't see them committing. I don't see them really communicating these, these feelings anytime soon, but I do feel like they will come forth and commit at some point. And then we have the seven of, seven of Pentacles progress. So yeah, they're going to take forever to commit, but they don't want, they don't really want to stop talking to you. But I, I feel like you guys might have given them an ultimatum as far as like, if either you're going to commit or we're not going to be doing this, but I do feel like they still want to be sexually involved with you. They still want to be intimate with you physically, physical affection. It doesn't have to be sex. Um, they do see themselves with you in the long term. They do see that as far as the vision. They're still taking the time out to themselves to contemplate. I don't see them being in another relationship. They're literally taking the time out to deal with themselves and uh, contemplate on the decisions that they want. So they're kind of just going with the flow and they're growing. They're going through a period of growing and learning on Learning on why they may have a problem with commitment, why they may be af afraid of that. Also, this person could have fear of attachment. Fear of attachment, fears based on uh, past relationships. But they secretly want you to know that they want to be, they still want to be there physically. They still want to communicate. They still want to talk. But it's when you give them an ultimatum or question them about commitment that they're going to run or they're gonna kind of push back or pull back away from the situation because they genuinely feel like they're not ready for commitment. Yeah, but they have a lot of emotions for you guys. Uh, they have a lot of emotions for you guys. They're very attracted to you physically. They see something in the long term, but they're just not sure how they're gonna get there because of the disconnect right now. So in, the, in other words, they're going with the flow. They've surrendered the outcome yeah we have surrender again right here so for a message as well is at times we must surrender the old before something new 
can enter our lives, let go, and all will work out. I do feel like this connection could be preventing you guys from new love or future love. Because again, it's like what you guys want there. I don't know if they've told you guys this, but secretly they don't want to, they're not going to commit anytime soon. And they're probably not going to tell you this, like I said, because they're going to, they fear that you might walk away, but they're not committing anytime soon. But in the long term, I feel like only time will tell. That's probably a really good Oracle that we need. Only time will tell with this person, but they really do have emotions for you and care about you. It's just a, the commitment issue. So I do feel like this situation could be preventing you guys from new love or future love coming in um, because you guys kind of have an expectation of the outcome, whether it's you guys putting time in, investment in, being sexually active or physically attracted or, or intimate with this person, you feel like this is kind of like an investment into a, a future relationship. And also I feel like they think that although they have not committed, they do still feel like there is some progress, that you guys have gotten a lot further uh, than you guys have before. So you guys could be, again, off and on is what I see. But if they do commit or they do come in with an offer, I'm not sure that they'll be ready to, to actually commit long term, like marriage and things like that. So that per, per, this person struggles with that. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims it simply allows. So yeah, basically they don't want to be tied down. They don't want to be tied down. They don't want to feel like a slave to the relationship. Um, let there be closeness between you. They like how things are when you guys are not in a committed relationship. They feel like it's less stressful. It's easier to deal with. There's no pressure. You guys are like having fun. It's more adventurous. It's less straining until it's like, all right, but are, what are we doing? Like, where are we going? Are we in a relationship? Are we going to be together? These are the questions that they're like, oh, okay, maybe I'll pull away again and then come back when you're ready to just kind of go with the flow. So this person does want their space. They do want their own space. This type of person is someone who will live by themselves while you guys are dating to just make sure that they still have their space. Not necessarily that they want to have sex with multiple people or be in be with a lot of people they're they're just not ready for commitment so they'll probably have their own condo while you have your condo and you guys will probably be dating for years and they'll still be like i don't know if it's a good time to move in together that's because this person really enjoys their space being by themselves they're a leader they're very stubborn and strong-willed too so they're not going to give in but again like i said they're very attracted to you they find you very alluring and very attractive look inside yourself examine what is causing you to feel this way so I do feel like this is like for you guys who have picked and chosen deck number one, your energy is like, I really need to know how this person feels about me because I need to make a decision on whether or not I'm going to stay or whether or not I'm going to go. And so you guys are kind of seeking out. That's why I feel like the growth card is here. Seeking out from a mentor guide, which is me, uh, to pull these cards for you guys because you guys are really trying to figure out if you should stay or if you should um, leave this leave this person. And I feel like right now, the time, like to answer your question is right now, they're just, they're not going to commit. All right, let me see, let me see. Yeah, they just want to be free. They want to kind of do their own thing and go with the flow, especially even with these charms. Like, I feel like they just want to do their own thing, but they really enjoy your company. They really enjoy being with you, being under you, being physically intimate. They feel like you guys are a great couple or would be in the future. Um, this is also someone who would tell their friend, man, this person would be great three years down the line. Like when I turn 30 or when I turn 40, this person would be great. This is the person I want to settle down with. They are everything that I want. That's also what I'm hearing them secretly tell you or want you to know. And also I feel like they're telling you guys to, to wait for them. I genuinely feel like they're saying, wait, it's going to take time. Be patient with me. Just wait. I also feel that. Um, but with the Knight of Swords, they have a hard time communicating how they feel and telling you how they feel. And it's mostly because this person is, they feel like you're not understanding of the freedom that they want. I also see. So yeah, if you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading. Don't forget to comment down below. I'm interested in seeing what you guys have to say about this person or this situation or this individual. All right, let's move on to deck number two. All right, if you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading. And what do they secretly want to tell you or what do they secretly want you to know? All right, so we have a few charms here. I'll get into the energy of these after I look at the cards that I have here. Let's start with the unicorn deck. 
Rebirth, reinvent yourself, give life to your dreams, create a new reality. Magician, make a wish, believe in miracles, magic surrounds you. Freedom, live wild and free, choose your freedom, claim your independence. So a few things already. I feel like you guys have a very strong connection with this person. Very strong connection and you guys are manifesting each other back in, back into one another's life. Whatever you guys are going through, I do feel like this is, you guys might be in separation or not together. What do they secretly want you to know or tell you? They're manifesting this back together, but they're just not ready. They're enjoying their freedom and their independence. You guys also, I get the energy that you guys could have been in a long-term relationship or been together for at least, at least for some of you guys, a year. But this person is enjoying their freedom right now, but they're also, they also believe that you guys are still going to be together. That's what I'm getting with the magic card and the rebirth. When you guys do come back together, you guys will be, have gone through transformation or some type of transition as well. All right, let's see. Yeah, the twin flames, your passion ignites. So yeah, you guys can definitely be twin flames. You guys could definitely be twin flames. And that's why I said, I feel like you guys are manifesting each other back into each other's life romance. Keep it, Cupid's arrow strikes. And power. You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. So this could be an off and on situation that you guys are having, uh, that you guys are kind of struggling with as far as what are you guys doing with the relationship or how does this person feel? Um, and if they feel the same way as you, Yes, they do. Already, I could tell you that they already do, especially if you guys are twin flames. Uh, with the charm here too, we have the two hearts intertwined. You guys are two, but you're intertwined as one. For, for a lot of you guys, I do feel as though you guys are twin flames. Also, we have the wing here, which is not surprising because we have the freedom card. Uh, this literally looks like the exact same wing. And again, these are randomly chosen, so I, have, I, I don't pick them out for each card. But with this also is telling me that your, this person has taught you a lot about yourself. You guys feel the same way about each other. Remember, twin flames marry each other, so you guys feel the same exact way. Queen of Pentacles, ambition, fairness, Queen of Swords, the lover's card. Yeah, you guys have a really deep connection. I strongly feel like you guys are going to be together soon. I strongly feel that. I don't even question it at all. Right now, you guys are going through a period of separation for this person that you guys are asking about. For most of you guys, this is twin flame uh, connection. Take it how it resonates with you. Even if this is a new person, I'm not really getting a lot of new people. And if I am and you're asking about a person, if you just met someone and you're asking what they want to secretly know and you chose deck number two, I feel like that this old person that you guys may have been with is blocking this new connection. So if it's new love, a lot of this energy is being picked up based on the person that you were previously with. So even though you had this new person in mind, you guys are still attracting this energy in which I'm picking up energy from a past relationship. So hopefully that makes sense for you guys. Now the, uh, the Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, uh, we have two Queens here. Again, I feel like you guys are mirroring each other. We have ambition. The Queen of Pentacles is someone who is manifesting. This person is manifesting this back together. You guys equally feel the same way, but right now they're taking the time out what they secretly want you to know. They're taking the time out to kind of gain independence and have freedom. Since you guys may have been in a long-term relationship, this person is just enjoying their freedom right now, going through their rebirth, focusing on themselves and putting themselves first. However, with the lover's card here, they are very connected to you. So this person, what they're, they secretly want to tell you is that, hey, I've been dreaming about you. I've been thinking about you. Um, I feel like we could have had another chance together. I really love you. Uh, I feel like we married each other. I gave you something you gave me. We reciprocated it. They really care about you. They really have, even with the generosity and the fairness, they really have this want and desire for you guys to be happy. And genuinely, they're just saying like, whether it's with me or not, I just want you to be happy. Like, that's what I hear what they secretly want you to know or what they secretly want to tell you. So they're manifesting this back together. They're probably not telling you that. They could be showing up in your dreams, communicating telepathically with you, but 
also you guys could be a Gemini or dealing with a Gemini with the lovers card here they are very passionate about you and they do love you if some of you guys are questioning the motives of this person I'm letting you know right now that they genuinely love you they care about you and um, they just want to do it's a very selfless energy so selfless energy if you guys are questioning this person you're like I don't I don't remember them being like that. I feel like it's because you guys were blocked with the perception of mirroring each other. So you weren't really able to see that they really cared and loved you. Even if they came off as very harsh and said some things that in the past or been have been hurtful, I feel like they genuinely are sorry. And even if they haven't expressed that, they don't know how to express that to you. And also with the power card, it's also teaching you about putting yourself first. This person is teaching you how to put yourself first and create your own reality without them. So this pur purpose of the separation was to, to rebirth your, your connection with each other. And like I said, I strongly feel for a lot of you guys, you guys are going to be back with this person. I strongly feel that. You guys have a lot of passion for each other. I mean, you guys are twin flames, so you guys have a lot of passion with each other. All right, so we have the Queen of Swords. So yeah, they do see themselves being with you long term. The Queen of Swords is uh, the King of Swords is a visionary. We have King and Queen. You guys are counterpart. These are counterpart energies. Uh, you guys had you guys have a really dope ass connection. You guys can do a lot together, build businesses together. Uh, with the Queen and the King here, you guys could be parents also. You guys are able to build anything. You guys just have to kind of come together. But this person sees themselves with you. The, the King of Swords is a visionary. They already kind of have envisioned things. They're manifesting things. This is someone who has a vision board of where they want to be and where they want to go. And they see you in their future. Even if you're not together now, like they genuinely are still telling their friends this. I still feel like this is the one. I still feel like he or she was the one. I know we might not be together, but I still feel strongly connected. It's, it's as if we never even broke up. That's how they feel. Why they wouldn't tell you this? I don't know uh secretly also they're they're thinking about you the sun card is here they they feel that you really make them happy they loved being with you they want to be back with you and they see this in the long term i mean we have the sun the lovers the twin flame the magic the freedom you guys have an a really strong connection also i'm getting for some of you guys this person may want to meet up for the holidays especially around christmas time with the generosity card here, the sun card here, and the king of swords, I just feel like this energy and the magic miracles, like I feel like this fairy tale life, it's gonna be wanting to share the holidays with you guys, wanting to be with you guys. You genuinely make them happy. The magician card is in reverse, so I'm gonna put that in the upright, but the magician is also about uh, manifesting things. The only thing that would hinder this from coming forth is the belief that you feel like it's actually possible. The belief that this person really does feel this way. Even if this, if this comes to a shocker to you, it just tells me that this person has already changed and they're going through a rebirth, so they're not going to be the same person that you once knew them to be. So they are manifesting this together. They want to be with you. You make them very happy. They love you very much. The Nine of Cups, like, come on, guys. This, this is... Whoever this person is, I could tell you for a lot of you guys, this is the one. Like, this is the one. If anyone were to ask me, is this person the one? This is definitely the one. The Nine of Cups, they want to come forward with an offer. They really do care about you. They have romantic feelings. This is someone who wears their heart on their sleeve for you. Even again, like I said, don't, like, jump down my throat. I know to some of you guys, this may seem as a shocker because maybe they have said these things and you don't believe them. But I'm telling you, this is how they feel. This is how they genuinely feel, even if they have yet to express it to you. Like how I never see them feeling that way. I don't think that they would ever come out and say this. Well, that's why this is what do they secretly want you to know? Because I don't feel like some of this you guys have known. Maybe a little bit you have. But for the most part, you make them happy. They want something new with you with the Magician card. We have the one. Uh, they want. They believe in miracles. They believe in it coming together. They believe that when you guys are together that it's magic. And the connection is just undying. Like they have not found that connection with anyone else. They could have been dating. They could have been trying to move forward. But they're realizing that they still love you. They still want to offer you this cup. Uh, also, they wear their heart on their sleeve for you. They put you on a pedestal. And also, it's funny because... We don't see how the other person communicates with other people, but this, I'm seeing vividly, this person 
talking about you like going on new dates and being like yeah my ex-boyfriend or my ex-girlfriend was also like that she also liked that like they're constantly talking about you because they feel like they have a different heart for you even if they're acting like a hard ass if they seen you in public they would probably like pee on themselves because they're they're very nervous like that's how they feel about you um so yeah they they're just really nervous they're, they have like a kid like love for you they have like this dreamy love for you they're thinking about you constantly uh, the high priestess here right now i feel like they're trying to figure out what how to approach it what's best what to do how could this come back together uh, they're trying to follow their high priestess their intuition their heart so logically i feel like this person may struggle with why do i still love this person like this why do i still care about this person and if you think that i'm talking about you in this reading then again this is a twin flame so you guys would be mirroring the same thing so this is how they would feel and then with the high priestess they're trying to follow their heart they're trying to fire, follow their intuition however their ego logically says this doesn't make sense why do i still feel this way about this person i may have tried to move on i cannot we had such a good connection we could be happy is it possible is our miracles possible for some of you guys you guys could have been like we've been through a lot i don't know how the hell this is going to come together well that's why we have the magic here believing in miracles and then the last card we have here is the six of wands so yeah they're going to come out and publicly publicly let you know this i also feel like for a very few of you guys this person will engage uh will propose to you with the six of wands here i just feel like they made their decision they know how they feel this this energy to me is just love i just feel a lot of love the freedom to love and um it's a beautiful thing it's unconditional love manifesting it um coming forth with an offer letting you know how they feel the lover's card here just they don't want to be with anybody else and so with the six of wands here the public recognition card um, I also feel like they're gonna they want to let you know how grateful they are for the things that you have done in the relationship uh, they really admire you with the six of wands but I also get the proposal even though this is not the proposal card I feel like they're gonna publicly acknowledge your guys's relationship or situation together so yeah that's what I get for deck number two don't forget to comment down below if you guys chose this deck i do feel like for deck number two this is looking pretty good for you guys so secretly they just are madly in love with you they can't stop thinking about you and they're trying to get it to come back together so that's how they feel let's move on to deck number three all right if you guys chose deck number three this is your reading and what do they secretly want to tell you or what do they secretly want you to know all right, so the charms we have, it looks like another unicorn, a horse, a cat, another animal, and a star. All right, let's see. The unicorn cards. What do they secretly want you to know? Friendship, beloved, intention. Do you wanna be with me as a friend or do you wanna be with me in a relationship? That's also what I feel like you guys may be questioning. This person is also questioning the same thing. They are unsure of if they want to be your friend or be in a relationship with you. In the long run, they see you as being a great life partner. And they're also saying that either this person is it or there's someone that's coming in that's closely. And I feel that's for you as well. This person could be it or this person could be a really good friend or part of your soul family. So if this is someone that you guys just met, or someone that you guys have a connection with, with the friendship card here, you guys could be soulmates, friends, soulmate friends, or you guys could be soulmate lovers. So you guys have a really strong chemistry, a really strong connection, and if they are a part of your soul family, the soul family just means you guys are connected at soul, connected at spirit, just kind of like how we have a physical family, biological family based on blood and genetics, this would be your soul family. Uh, but you're just unsure of what they want. They're really unsure of what they want to. They're unsure of the connection. They don't really understand it. This person might not be as spiritual as you are or spiritual at all because they don't really understand the connection. Um, and so, yeah, the beloved, it's believed that you're lovable. So this is also could be a twin flame. It doesn't have to be, but I, I'm getting strong like soulmate vibes.
all right the queen of wands and so they feel as they feel very connected to you seven of pentacles yeah they're indecisive about what they want page of cups yeah they feel okay yeah yeah don't want to walk away this is like they feel like it's puppy love it's new love and I feel like this is for a lot of you guys, someone who you've been, if you've dated, it's a less than six months. It's not, I don't feel like a strong year or years connection or a relationship. This would be a newer connection, a newer love that you guys have just been in. Like I said, six months, a short term relationship or just are meeting someone new. If this was a long distance or a long term you guys could have a past life connection, which is bringing history, but I don't feel much history. I don't feel much history. It's new love and it's puppy love. So basically they're dreamy about you. They're very passionate. They are trying to be patient with the process because they're trying to understand what this connection is, why they feel this way so quickly, why they feel this way in such a short period of time that you guys have been dating. They're questioning whether they should walk away or not. I think they're afraid of the connection. They're afraid of this connection. I don't feel like they felt like this about another person before. So you guys are new, new puppy love coming into terms with each other and this person feeling as if you guys could be moving too fast. So they may have slowed it down. So if you guys broke up or they broke up with you, it's because they needed to slow it down. It was moving too fast. And I feel like it was moving too fast based on love, the connection. Yeah, the two of cups. So again, you guys could be soulmates. Definitely with the two of cups here. This connection is, is feels like a soulmate connection and they are afraid of it, but it's something that they've wanted. That's the confusing part. Like they've wanted this, they've asked for it. You have asked for it and you guys, they feel very strongly about you as far as also learning from you. Feeling like you guys could be best friends, having that really close connection. This person feels like they could tell you anything except for obviously this, because this is what they secretly want to tell you. But for the most part, they feel like you could be a best friend, someone that they could be with long term, but they're being patient. They feel like you guys may be moving too fast and that's because of the connection. It's a, I feel like, it, again, it's a soulmate connection. Six of Swords, yeah, you guys could have a past life connection with the Six of Swords here. This is about movement traveling from the past and the Two of Cups here too tells me that you guys could have had a past life connection. Uh, but it is definitely a soulmate, like I said. Let me just look at these. Yeah, soulmate. I knew this was a soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest uh, physically. This is a soulmate. They may, I don't feel like they know that though. They just feel as though you guys have a strong connection spiritually. They are really attracted to you. You're really alluring. They look up to you too. They admire whatever it is that you do. I feel like they think a lot of people around you admire you. You could be like an older sibling or someone who the first to graduate or something about you is pr very prestige. They love that about you and they love the connection that you guys have. It's easy. For the most part, it's pretty easy from, from how they feel um, compared to the compared to the relationships that they had before you. They feel like this is a pretty easy connection, um, but they just feel like you guys are moving too fast and that's obviously because you guys are soulmates. Um, so yeah, they're not sure if they want to walk away or if they want to stay, but they do feel they're wavering between if you're just a really, really good friend or if you're their life partner. So be clear and decisive, focus on what you really want, be bold with your request. So the intention is they just don't know what the intention is. Is this, are you just a really good friend? And I think they're confusing it with the soulmate connection. Let's see what else we have. Delusions. Yeah. Seven of cups. They're not sure. They feel like they're dreaming too with you. You're too good to be true. They think that you're too good to be true. And they feel like they, I feel like this person has dreams about you with the delusions and the seven of cups. Intuition, queen of cups, very emotional about you. They like you a lot. I feel like they're afraid of that. How can I like this person so much? I'm worried about this. Am I moving too fast? Or am I, should I be saying I love you at the first month? In the first month, that's this person they care. They have this like regimen of what it should be like. I can't do this until like week three. I can't do this. They may have not expressed that to you, but they just feel like it's moving too fast and they don't know how to stop it because they feel so emotional about you. With the Queen of Cups, intuition, 
um, again, they're, they don't understand this. They don't understand the connection and that's the problem. Page of Wands. So they want a new beginning with you. They want to be with you. I solely feel like they want to be with you. But they're afraid. They're afraid of the connection. They're afraid on if this is too good to be true. If you feel the same way. If you feel as... If you feel as strongly as they do, Page of Wands, though, is a spark to a new beginning. It's a venture. All right, intuition. Let's see what this other card says. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. And so, yeah, this person struggles with logically, I should not feel this way about this person logically this connection does not make sense they're afraid of the connection they're running from the connection and it says for it is only being true to yourself that you could be true to others so i feel like they they struggle with that they struggle with being honest about it and seeing it for what it really is with the delusion card they feel like they might be delusional about how they feel about you and questioning why they feel this way so sudden or so abruptly or i've only i was only with this person for four months five months why do i still feel this way they love you they love the connection that you guys have they do feel like you could potentially be a life partner. They're just unsure of that right now. They're trying to file, file their intuition, but with the Queen of Cups, this is someone who is immensely connected, immensely emotional uh, towards you, and uh, feels like even with the star charm here, having hope. They feel like there is hope for this connection to move forward and to venture off. However, they're in their head about the decision. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life. Yeah, again, this person does not know how to be emotionally available. They are emotionally detached, especially because of the pressure of this connection. But they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. So again, this is literally like how they feel. They are in their head about the connection. With the delusions and the seven of cups, this person is just questioning, why do I feel this way? Why are my emotions running rampage? I need to get them under control. Even with the Queen of Cups, this is someone who is just engulfed in their emotions. They're very emotional about you. And then also, they feel like their, their perception is being clouded by their emotions. So in order to see things clearly, you must let go. So letting go of resentment. So I feel like this person could have went through something as well. They have trust issues moving forward with you. They feel like it's too good to be true. They feel like you're not being your true self true authentic self. Um, they're questioning, they're waiting for you to mess up. They're waiting for you to do something wrong because again, they feel like it's too good to be true, but they don't know that it's a soulmate. They feel like it's too good to be true. You're too good to be true. So they're waiting for you to do something to prove them right that it's too good to be true um, so that they can fall out of this emotional connection. So you guys do have a soulmate connection for sure. Obviously we have four different things that have to do with your soul and your soulmate. Also, if this person, I feel like they could be your life partner too. It's going to take time though. They need to, you guys need to be in sync spiritually. You guys are out of sync spiritually. Yes. And last but not least, last but not least. And also, I feel like they want you to be patient with them with the seven of pentacles because they do feel very strongly for you. I feel like they feel like you're the one too. And they're in disbelief that they could have met you. So yeah, this is what I got for deck number three. And what do they secretly want to tell you or what do they secretly want to know? Don't forget to comment down below. If you do feel like this is your soulmate, I'm interested to seeing how you guys feel about this representation and perspective of the person that secretly wants to tell you this. Moving on to deck number four. All right, if you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading and what do they secretly want to tell you or what do they secretly want you to know? All right, first off, we have the charms. We have the heart with the arrow through it. It says love. Then we have turtles and fishes. So a lot of water, a lot of emotions already. Let's look at the unicorns. What do they secretly want you to know or tell you? So they think that you're adventurous. They want to do adventure, adventurous things with you. Um, also, I feel like something with water, you guys could have already done that like snorkeling, things of that. They want to experience things with you. 
snorkeling with the sea turtles, being underwater, Hawaii, islands, something with water, ships, yachts, things of that. Celebration, adventure, yeah, they want to be spontaneous with you. Healer, you have healing gifts, have faith in your ability, stay true. Celebration, they want to come together. I'm not sure if you guys are together yet, but we're going to look at that. All right, let's start with the love oracle. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. We resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised at where it leads. I feel like this is new love for some of you guys. And I also feel like this is old love. Only time will tell. A message for you. So what they secretly want you to know or tell you, I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. And acceptance acceptance is the key to inner peace at times we must accept things as they are there's no point to trying to change that which is beyond our control all right let's see what happened with the tarot so you guys could be married have been married or currently separated the hierophant here you guys could be dealing with the taurus you don't have to be or you could be a taurus I feel as though this person could have been stubborn, but there is some issues as far as beliefs go. They're very emotional about you. They care a lot about you. They love you. It's almost like they're if they're saying, I love you, whether we're together or apart. I do feel like you guys are not together. You guys are at odds, con conflicting, conflicted. Chariot, they could be moving forward. You could be a Cancer, they could be a Cancer. So I do feel like they want to move forward, but it, there's so much healing that needs to take place. So this, what I'm hearing is that it's like we've been through a lot. We've argued, we've fought, we've been combative. We've been at each other's throats. We've been arguing about things. Um, but I just want to celebrate and enjoy life with you. I want to be over these bad times I want to come forward but I only want to come forward if we're able to create another cycle so whoever this person is that you guys are dealing with and that you're asking about they they're tired of the same thing they're tired of the same cycle they want a new beginning with you and a new start to adventure and celebration and another thing is if this is new and you guys just met this person less than six months ago, they want you to let go of something in the past or they need to let go of something in the past as far as this this cycle that they're on because I, I don't feel like it's most of you guys that are new love. But for, for a few of you guys, if it is new love, uh, this person is dealing with some things from their past. They're still connected to this person. They still love this other person. They just moved on and met you. Again, I'm, I'm straining feeling that. But again, for the few of you guys that are dealing with it, take it how it resonates. Because whoever this person is, if you're asking about them and you were in a past relationship with them, they still love you whether you're together or apart. They just want something new. They're tired of the same repetitive cycles. They want to do adventurous things with you. With the charms here, they love you so much, but they're ready to just kind of have a breakthrough in the relationship. Not fighting, not being at odds, not having to deal with the old cycles. They want to heal things, be together with you. They still love you. They're still very emotional, but they just want to be adventurous and do new things with you. They want to come forth and tell you that. Yeah, so the Seven of Wands is like, they just want some type of breakthrough with you. You guys could have been at odds. The higher font here, it, it's interesting. It's, it's like you guys could have been at odds with your belief systems, what you believe. Some of you guys may have believed in marriage. Some of you guys may have not. They just want to love you they don't want to be involved in all the legalities or the logistics of it the analytical part they just want to be with you and be happy they don't want to deal with the other like bullshit they don't want to deal with any of that they want to heal the relationship also with the five of swords you guys again could have been the five represents adversity so this is all about conflict they feel like you're defensive they could be defensive as, as well with coming forth and telling you this, but they're tired of arguing and they just want to be happy. They would like it to be with you, but if it's if it's not with you, they're still at a place where they're like, I still love you. It's just we can't create, we cannot continue to do this cycle over and over. Yeah, so they could be a Leo. You could be dealing with a Leo or have Leo in your chart. It doesn't have to be. We have a lot of major arcana here and we also have a lot of signs. We have the Taurus, 
the Cancer, and Leo. So if that's you guys, then also this is how they feel. They feel like you're very confident. They love that about you. They're also, they feel, feel they're very sexually attracted to you with the strength card here. Um, they feel like you're just a lot. <laughs> they feel like you're a lot to handle, uh, but they don't mind it. They're just ready to celebrate life. They love you. They don't want to fight anymore. Um, they see you as being very strong, very independent, very strong willed. And they feel like sometimes you just need to put your guard down so that they can open up more to you. I feel like that's what they have yet to tell you. Death card in reverse, Scorpio energy. So we have a lot of signs out here on the table. But this tells me, while it's in the reverse coming out, that they don't want to end it. They don't want to end it, but if you guys keep fighting and having the same cycles, then they're ready to accept it due to inner peace. So they want to be at peace. They want to enjoy life. They want to travel with you. They want to try new things. That It's almost like they're saying, we're only getting older. What are we arguing about? These, these petty arguments, let's just move past them. Let's pick and choose our battles wisely. There's no need to be defensive. I love you. I care about you. I want to be with you. However, I don't want to deal with the same thing. The only thing that has thrown me off with this reading is the Hierophant here. So I feel like you guys are struggling, the connection was struggling, and their beliefs. Again, this is usually marriage, divorce, anything institutional, rules, religion. I feel like that, that got into the way of a lot of your guys' relationship with this person. And it's almost like, let's just love each other and enjoy life. It's that simple. Four of Cups. So yeah, they're still dwelling on the past, dwelling on the relationship. They don't want to move forward. They're kind of waiting on you um, to kind of be on the same page or you're waiting on them. The strength card, again, Leo energy. And with the Hindu God here, it's also telling me that there's some religious factors to your guys' relationship regret so yeah they regret if they left they're regretting it they regret leaving they regret leaving we have another five um so this is the breakup card walking away some of them felt like they had to walk away because of the arguing there was no peace no one was everyone both of you guys were trying to prove your point you were trying to move forward and so they feel like they're they're regretting it but they don't know what else to do they feel like their hands are tied Knight of Wands, but they desire you. Yeah, they want to be with you. They desire that. They don't want to end the relationship. They're giving it time right now because when they reach out or if they reach out or if you reach out, they don't want it to be in a hostile situation. They don't want to debate things that don't need to be debated. They literally just want to celebrate and move forward. But they feel like it could work out. They have faith in it, but they're also open to it not working out because they feel like they love you so much. So with the celebration card, a positive outcome is assured. Celebrate your success. Enjoy your achievements. So they do feel like you guys could come together. They're regretting leaving. And that's what they secretly want you to know as well. They're regretting leaving. They're not, they haven't ended it. Even if they said they have, they have not ended this. They still love you. They're going to come forward. Uh, they just want to break through. They feel like you're very strong. And they also feel like you're very guarded. Very, like the energy that I'm getting is they feel like you're very hard to open up to. And that couldn't be the case, but I feel like you might not know this. This is how they feel. That it is, you're very strong-willed and they love that about you, but sometimes they want you to put their, your, your sword down because they mean well. They come, they come bearing love. They really do love you. And they're looking back on it. They regret it. The Four of Cups, I do feel like they have options around them, but they're still dwelling on you, hoping that it's almost like they're waiting for you to get your shit together. But I mean, again, take it how it resonates because you could feel the same way about this person, but they do love you and they're giving it time. It's just that there's some healing that needs to be involved for you guys to have a new cycle so you guys can have something new together. Uh, because, and they're also saying like, they want you to put your sword down. Be open to this, be open to me. I haven't ended this. And with the strength card here twice, I feel like they could be going through some things as well. And they they feel like if you guys are strong enough and you can make it through this time, then you guys could make it through anything. You guys have been through a lot together, a lot together. Like this is a relationship that has history, a lot of history. And last but not least, I feel like 
you guys could have kids with them. Could again marriage. It's just it's it's this energy of just I really want to be with you, but can we just stop arguing? Can we just stop so we could just enjoy life and be happy and celebrate and be at peace? Or do I have to walk away? I feel like you guys have walked away several times. Like this is off and on situation, but there's more history than any other deck that I read today. A lot of history with your guys' relationship. And they could be very defensive as well, but for the most part, they do care about you. They have a lot of emotions for you and they do love you. And that's what I feel like they secretly would want to tell you. So yeah, don't forget to comment down below. This is your guys' reading for deck number four and what they secretly want you to know or want to tell you. I'm interested in seeing if you guys chose this deck, if there is history or what is it, what else is left to this relationship or if you're willing to give it a chance, put the sword down, have faith and move forward. So thanks for tuning into this pick a card reading. Until next time, I will see you guys in the next pick a card reading.